Hello Minecrafters! In this video, I will show you how to build this winter log cabin. And if you'd like, you can leave the snow off this build. Before we start, you can now pause the video to take a look at the materials that we're going to need for this build. You can pause here for the layout before we get started. Place a temporary block and stripped dark oak logs on the side, on that side, and on this side. Then come over two and put one on top of each one of those. Put more stripped dark oak logs coming out to there. Put a temporary block there and put a dark oak log right there. Then bring that the whole way over to there. Then we're going to run a log the whole length of this build. Then come over here, another temporary block. And just like that, we have the bottom layer of the log cabin done. Next, take the strip spruce and come out two blocks. Come over here, one block there, and one block there. Come over here and do the same. Then put one block there, a temporary block, another block, a temporary block, and two more blocks. And there are our windows. Then run that the whole length. Put a temporary block right there, and we can run that the whole length over here. Put a block right there, and then that layer is done. Place a temporary block and run the stripped dark oak coming out right there, and just like that. And you can now see the crisscross end of the logs showing. Run this the whole way across, temporary block there, and run the stripped dark oak out. Put that right there, that right there, and leave a gap for the window. Put a temporary block right there, and just like that. Now you can put a temporary block and put that right there. And now we're going to run this the whole length, just like that. Now run a stripped dark oak log the whole length of the back, just like that. Put a block there to make that pattern perfect. We're actually going to take these two blocks out for a window, those two out for a door, and those two out for another window. Just like that. Now we're going to do another layer of the strip spruce the whole way around. And next, a dark oak layer. Place a temporary block. One block there, two blocks. Temporary block, two blocks. Temporary block, and a block. And we're going to be putting a window right there. And now we're just gonna run dark oak the whole way around, just like we did before. There we have it. Now on the gable end, we're going to put a temporary block and two spruce blocks. Temporary block and two spruce blocks. Then put a temporary block and three dark oak blocks. Put a temporary block and one a dark oak block, looking that direction. Then come out one block. On this side, put a temporary block down five spruce logs, temporary block, and three dark oak, temporary block, and one dark oak on this side, just like that. Now we're going to build the fireplace on this side. Come over here with some stone bricks, place some andesite down as well, just for some texturing. We want to get some cobblestone in here, just like that. Then we want to put an andesite stair, couple stair, put some more texturing in, and just go up just like this. 
Then we're gonna go four blocks from this peak. Just like that. Place a campfire and a trap door on each side. Just like that. And then we can put a cobblestone wall at the top. And there we go, our chimney is now complete. Now we are going to build the roof using deep slate tiles. Starting over here, put a block on the side and just go up like this, covering all of that. And then do the same on the other side. Now come over here and do the same going up like that and down the other side. And once again, we're gonna do the same thing on this side. I'll put one block up there. And now we're just going to connect all of those together, just like this. And there we go, the basic shape of the cabin is now complete. And now we're going to detail the front. Come over here, put a dark oak trapdoor underneath each one of those, and one up at the top. And then put a dark oak stair on the underside, just like this. Just like that, going up to the top. And we're going to put two white glass panes in the window, and put spruce trap doors on each side for the shutters Then we're gonna come down here put a dark oak stair like that and two up like that break that block and put a dark oak stair there as well then we're gonna come up here and put campfires across the top you can put them out with shovels and then put a lantern underneath and two spruce trap doors just like that and now the front is completed. Now we're gonna work on the side with the big window. Put three white glass blocks and three white panes on each side, just like that. Then we're gonna come over here, put a slab underneath there, and up at the top, a dark oak trap door. And we're gonna put stairs underneath each side like that. Next, put a dark oak stair there and there with some dirt in between. Put three trap doors there, and I chose to put some ferns in the flower box, but you could put anything in there. Then put some stairs up there, and some campfires going across, and we're gonna put them out like that. Hang two lanterns right there. And then we're going to put some spruce trap doors right there for the shutter. So we have a completed end on this side. Now on this side, we're gonna put a dark oak slab underneath there and a stair going up like that on each side. We're also gonna put a dark oak sign on, the, on each end just like that. And we're also putting dark oak signs on this end and on this end. For these front windows, just put two white glass panes in each side, and then on each side of the windows, we're going to use spruce trap doors for shutters. And then next, we're gonna place dark oak buttons on each exposed end of the logs. Just like that, the whole way around the cabin. Now we're gonna put a trim along the bottom of the roof. So we're just placing dark oak slabs like this, along with trap doors, just to give it a nice variated feel. And we're just gonna do the same thing over here too. 
Now we're gonna start working on the back here, taking some dark oak stairs and placing them like that. Then place one there and three like that and one like that. So we have five across. Then we're gonna come here with some spruce trap doors, just like that. And also we're going to place a door in here like that. Now come out four blocks and place four blocks high for the dark oak fences, just like that. And then we're gonna take dark oak fence gates and connect all of them up like that. On the top, we'll start by placing some quartz slabs in these locations, just like this. Then we're gonna take some campfires and put them like that in these locations as well and put them out using a shovel then we're going to take some spruce leaves and put them there and put a little bit of snow on top to make it feel like snows on top of this then underneath put a diorite wall and a white glass pane to make it look like a bit of an icicle hanging down now we can finish the underhang here with trapdoors and slabs. Just like that. And also put white glass panes in each one of these windows with spruce trapdoors on the sides for shutters. We could leave the cabin like this, but I'm going to add some snow detail by adding a quartz stair with a diorite wall and a white stained glass pane underneath. And we're gonna do the same over in this corner too as just a little bit of an extra detail. Now I'm going to add some snow layers to the roof. Starting with the corners where the snow would probably be deeper, we're just going to start stacking up the layers here. Something like that. And then we're gonna come over here and also stack it up a bit more on the edges. Then we can connect everything by adding a few lighter snow layers in the middle. We don't want it all to be exactly the same, but it just gives it a little bit of a texture and life when the layers aren't all the same. Now we're gonna do that the rest of the way around this build. just laid down layers till I was happy with everything. Just like that. Now go along the edge of the roof with the dark oak signs as the final trim. And there we go, the cabin is now complete. But I'll show you a little bit of landscaping tips to finish out the exterior. First of all, we're gonna put some snow blocks underneath these ends where the snow layers can't show because of the buttons. Then we're gonna place some spruce leaves just going around the edge for some bushes. We can also put snow layers on top for some extra depth. 
Then we're gonna make a little bit of a path using cobblestone and coarse dirt. We can also put some ferns on top of some of the dirt, just as a nice extra bonus. And we're just gonna put spruce leaves the whole way around this build. And there we go, the cabin is now complete. I've also added spruce trees around the cabin, which is going to be a future video on how to build custom spruce trees. I hope you enjoyed this cabin tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.